I'm not doing this. <sighs> Guys, I think it's time for us to divorce Marmel. Hi all, Snarky J Cosplay here. So this week, as you all know, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania had its big release and I went to see it. Um, I can't say I was particularly stoked about it, but I was curious. And as a fan of Marvel for over the past like 10 years, I go to all their releases. And as I was sitting there in that theater, I said to myself, I I'm not doing this anymore. And I actually walked out. I have not walked out of a movie theater pretty much ever. I've had other people walk out and I've like followed them because I don't want to be left in the theater alone like a weirdo, but I walked out of Ant-Man of my own volition. I've basically grown up with Marvel. Marvel started putting out big mainstream pictures with Iron Man in 2008. And to give you a frame of reference, I was eight in 2008. And before you start figuring out the math, I'm turning 23 this year. So I've spent the past like 15 years obsessing over Marvel. I've cosplayed any number of their characters. I've had the merch. I've got a collection of t-shirts. I've got figures. I've got posters. Every midnight release, I was there. I was buying tickets the day they went on sale. I was camping out for good seats. I basically did it up for Marvel for years. For a long time, you could say I was a Marvel fan that was devoted enough to actually dislike DC. And as somebody who now worships Batman, I really hate admitting that, but let's be open. But as I sat there in that theater watching Ant-Man, I realized I think I'm done doing that. I'm not gonna give any spoilers for Ant-Man in this video because I didn't finish the movie. I sat through about an hour and 20 minutes, so that's basically about half, maybe a little over half of the movie. And I'd never felt more disappointed in a film that I literally had no expectations for. The humor fell completely flat. Some of the performances were pretty awful. I will say Paul Rudd is a national treasure and he is free of literally any criticism that I have for this movie. The action wasn't great either. I mean, I honestly felt like I was sitting in that theater just to to roll my eyes and appreciate how Michelle Pfeiffer is still this fine at that age. Even the CGI was absolutely atrocious. I've seen fan films with better CGI, and that's not to say that fans don't put out some great stuff. My point is that fans don't have the budget of a multi-billion dollar company like Disney and Marvel Studios, so there's no reason why they should be putting out this level of crap. Then again, we saw that level of garbage with the CGI in She-Hulk, so who's this really gonna surprise. While I was on my drive home, I was thinking about making this video and I started to contemplate what exactly went wrong. And I can point out a few different things that are really not the fault of anybody at Marvel Studios. Like I mentioned earlier, I got into Marvel when I was about eight and I was super obsessed with it by the time I was 12. I don't really think the same way I did when I was 12. And two of my favorite indicators of that change in mindset are that I used to think wearing cat ears to school was a good idea it's a miracle nobody stuffed me in a locker in middle school. And when I was 12, I was still actively watching and enjoying My Little Pony until the bronies ruined it for me. I hate so much about the things that you choose to be. As much as I like Catwoman and characters like that, I don't feel the urge to wear cat ears in my daily life anymore, and I definitely would not be entertained by My Little Pony if I sat there and tried to watch it now. But anyways, my point is that maybe that could be why I don't enjoy Marvel anymore, right? I just got too old for it. But they're still advertising and producing films for adult audiences as well as young audiences, so I don't really think that that's why. I'm just pointing out a potential bias. On another note, I think that Marvel has honestly just run its course. People have been talking about superhero fatigue for the past couple of years now because it seems like every other month there's some big superhero blockbuster being released. And while moviegoers are getting kind of sick of it, people are maybe hungry for something with a little more substance. I personally am a huge fan of Tarantino movies and I can tell you that I'd much rather sit down and watch something like The Hateful Eight than actually sit through the Avengers Age of Ultron again. But I don't think superhero fatigue is what's going on with me. In fact, I still actively obsess over all kinds of superheroes and I spend my insomnia ridden nights basically splitting my time between scrolling on Reddit and browsing new releases on the DC Infinite app. I'm not sponsored by them, I just like reading comics and they're too expensive to buy physically. So it's not like you can say, Jay, you just don't like superheroes anymore. No, I just don't like 
like the garbage that Marvel has been putting out for the past couple of years. I got a lot of flack for saying that I liked Black Panther Wakanda Forever and giving Thor Love and Thunder fairly good reviews. And I have to admit that I did go back and give them second viewings. I still stand by the fact that Black Panther Wakanda Forever is a good film and I enjoyed it, but maybe it wasn't the best direction in terms of the Black Panther character. I can say, however, that watching Thor Love and Thunder in a way worse mood than I was the day I saw it in theaters. It's not a good movie and I'm sorry I said it was. So let's really take a look at some of Marvel's recent releases. Besides Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which I refuse to say is anything but adequate, you've got Thor Love and Thunder, The Eternals, which pretty much everybody agrees is not a good movie, Shang-Chi, which was actually pretty solid but maybe didn't get the attention it should have gotten, and on Disney Plus you've got series like Miss Marvel, which got panned by critics and fans, and She-Hulk, which I basically spent months of my YouTube channel just roasting and wishing it was over every time I turned it on. That is a handful of projects. A handful, okay? Maybe two hands full, depending on how big your hands are. But it's a handful of projects that were panned by critics, panned by fans, argued about on Reddit and Twitter, and they just weren't good. Marvel has been serving us products that are not good. It used to be where complaining about a Marvel movie was actually the exception and not the rule. We were loving every single thing we were getting served, and yeah, the occasional Thor, The Dark World, Avengers, Age of Ultron, even Iron Man 3, we had our qualms with those, but we spent over 10 years getting consistently solid superhero films that basically turned that franchise into the huge monster that it is. But if you ask me, Marvel should have quit while it was ahead. I'm gonna make a weird analogy here. Look at Seinfeld. So many people complained when Seinfeld ended, and I'm just gonna come right out and say I've never liked Seinfeld, right? But it's a universally known show, and it's pretty much considered like one of the best comedies of all time, according to most people in America. Seinfeld ended because they chose to end it. They felt that they didn't really have anything more to do, and they wanted to quit while they were ahead. And that was a great decision. Because of that fact, Seinfeld is still regarded as one of the greatest comedy shows of all time. And Marvel, my theory, is that if they had ended with Endgame, they probably could have saved themselves from having disappointed all their fans. If they had just rebooted or done other storylines, they maybe could have just started picking up more fans along the way without upsetting the people that basically invested 10 plus years of their lives into a franchise that now feels like it's little more than a dumpster fire we're hoping will eventually get put out. Marvel and its huge projects are basically just big cash cows, and I'm not denying that, but the problem is is that what they're putting out is just not the quality that the fans are used to, and it's because of that that they're getting panned by critics and roasted on the internet. And sure, they can sit here and tell us that the reason we don't like these recent releases is because we're misogynistic, or we don't like diversity, or maybe it's because we just hate fun. But the fact of the matter is, is that what they're putting out is just not good. And I really don't take pleasure in saying this kind of stuff. I consider it a huge bummer. Like I said, I've been emotionally invested in Marvel Marvel for like the past 15 years. That is a lot of time to have spent drawing little Captain America shields on everything I own and getting insulted by bigger kids in middle school I was too afraid to fight for being too into superheroes. I take no pleasure in having to roast Marvel's movies. I'm really, I get that I seem like the opposite of that, but I'm not that negative a person. I love watching movies that I can enjoy. I love sitting in a theater and laughing amongst friends and fellow movie goers, and that's what I really wanted to do when I sat down to watch Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And what happened instead was I sat there, rolled my eyes so hard that my head still hurts days later, and eventually decided, you know what? It's been a long day, I've worked for a living today, and I don't feel like investing another hour and a half of my life into this flaming pile of garbage that they call a film. As sad as it makes me to say, I think I'm done with Marvel. Maybe I'll catch the occasional release for the sake of reviewing it or if it's a character I'm particularly interested in, but honestly, I think me and Marvel are just calling it quits. We've had a great run, but honestly, we should have quit while we were ahead and stopped seeing each other a few years ago after Endgame. This has gone sour and it's time 
time for me to find somebody else. <laughs> That's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts on Marvel's recent releases in the comments below.